Hey guys, in today's video, we're taking a look at a free office style app called Only Office. It's a full suite of tools for documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and PDFs. It works across macOS, Windows, Linux, iOS, and Android. And in this video, we'll be focusing on the macOS version. Only Office invited me to test out their desktop editors and share my experience with you in this video. I've been testing it out over the past few weeks and I was quite surprised by how capable it is, especially considering it's completely free to use. If you're already familiar with Microsoft Office 365, you'll feel pretty at home here since the layout and tools are quite similar. So if you're after an alternative to Microsoft Office or Apple Pages and Numbers, and you want something that's flexible, reliable, and free to use, Only Office might just be what you need. Okay, so to get started, you'll need to go to the Only Office website, which I'll leave linked in the description below. And then once you're on their website, you wanna come across to products and then over to Only Office desktop editors. And we'll click that. And then here you'll see a orange download button. Go to that. And then in here is where you need to choose the correct version for your computer. So if you have a Windows computer, you could install it on that, but we're doing it for Mac OS. My Mac is an M3 Mac, which is the Apple chip, but if you have an older Mac with the Intel chip, you can download that version. But for me, I'm gonna go Apple chip, and then that's going to download the file to your downloads folder. When you open up the app, it opens up to a home page, which is clean and easy to navigate. You can choose to create a new document, spreadsheet, presentation, or PDF, or you can choose to open up a existing file on your computer. When you open your files, they'll be located at the top of the screen in tabs, which helps keep everything neat when working on multiple documents. First, let's take a look at documents. At the top, you'll find a home tab where you'll probably spend most of your time this is where you'll have all your essential formatting tools, fonts, styles, alignment, line spacing, and quick access to things like bullet points or number lists. The insert tab lets you add things like tables, images, shapes, hyperlinks, text boxes, page breaks, and even a table of contents. These tools make it easy to build out a structured document. There's also a dedicated tab for layout where you can tweak margins, change the page size or orientation, and adjust spacing. The reference tab has tools for adding things like footnotes, endnotes, table of contents and hyperlinks as well. There's also a protection tab if you want to add a password to a file or insert a digital signature, helpful if you're dealing with sensitive information or finalizing something official. You can also add in plugins, so if we go to the plugin manager, this is where you'll be able to install different types of plugins. You can see here I've installed the AI plugin, which has now put a tab up the top. With this plugin, I can connect things like ChatGPT or any other AI that I use. As for file types, if we come up to File and Save As, you can save in all the popular formats like DOCX, ODT, TEXT, JPEG and PDF. That means if you're working with someone who uses Microsoft Word, you can easily send files back and forth without running into any issues. You can also open documents from Apple Pages, but you can't save in the Pages format. But if you save the document in DOCX, you'll be able to open it up in Pages if needed. Next, we'll take a look at spreadsheets. If you've ever used Excel before, this will be very familiar. The Home tab covers all the basics from number formatting, cell styles, alignment, and quick tools to sort and filter. The Insert tab lets you add charts, shapes, images, and functions. The chart options look pretty good and you can customize the color and labels with ease. The Formula tab gives you access to a full library of functions. Under the Data tab, you can work with filters, data validation, text to columns and remove duplicates, great for tidying up messy spreadsheets. And if you want to lock a specific sheet or cell, the protection tab lets you add restrictions or set passwords to prevent changes. There are also some more advanced features built in like macros, pivot tables, condition formatting and even goal seek. I don't really use those myself or know too much about them since I mostly stick to the basics like creating budget spreadsheets, but it's nice to know that they're there if you need them. 
Now let's talk about presentations. It's pretty straightforward and easy to use. You can start from a blank slide and create your own presentation from scratch, or you can come across to the design tab and use one of these pre-made backgrounds to get you started. Um, you also have more templates. If you come back over to the home tab and go to templates, you can also come to the presentation section and use any of these templates that they have in there. We go back over to our presentation under the insert tab. This is where we can insert images, tables, text boxes. We even have charts and smart art. Under the transitions tab, you can add transitions in between each of your slides just to make it look a little bit more professional. You also have an animations tab so you can have images fading in or flying in just to add a bit more movement to your presentation. And then we have the other tabs like collaboration, protection and view similar to all of the other apps that we've already looked at. If you right click on your slide over here, you can add new slides to continue working on. And if you come across to the home tab, this is where you can also change how you want the content to be laid out on your slide. To present your slide, you just need to come up to this icon here and you can click on it and it will put it in a full screen mode and then you'll be able to present it. And then you just hit escape to get out of that. Now let's look at how only Office handles PDFs. There are two ways you can work with PDFs. The first way is by clicking on the option on the only Office homepage. This lets you build a PDF from scratch and gives you access to all the advanced tools. You'll get access to all the tabs similar to the other apps like Home, Insert, Draw, Layout, Reference, Form, Collaboration, Protection, View and Plugins. Under the Forms tab you can add things like text fields, combo box, drop down, check box, radio buttons, images and even signature fields. Over here, you can change what viewing mode you're in. So right now we're in editing mode and this will be the mode that you are in when you're creating your PDF. But if you wanna test out your PDF, you can come down and go to view form and this will show what the PDF would be like when you're filling it out. The other way you can work with PDFs is by opening it up from your local files. So I'm gonna go and open up a PDF I already have saved on my computer. So let's just open up this user manual here. So you can see with this PDF, it's giving you different options to the one that we opened up to create a PDF form. But this will be really handy for if you have a PDF that you want to mark up. So for instance, if we come across to comment, we have all of these marking up tools. So we can use the highlighter and we can go through and highlight sections that we want to look at later. If we come across to edit PDF, this will give us a few more things. So we have insert, so you can insert text boxes, images, shapes, and all of that. Now, if we go to the home tab and I will come across to edit text, I can actually edit the text in the PDF. So if you need to make any changes to a PDF, if there was any mistakes, you can do that. You can also delete pages. So if it's a PDF with a lot of pages and you only need the first two pages, you can come in here and delete pages. You can rotate pages. So you have a whole bunch of options for working with pre-made PDFs as well. Overall, I think only Office is a great alternative to Microsoft Office, which is the platform I've been most familiar with over the years. I used it through school and for work. So I felt right at home straight away with the way only Office is set up. I found only Office really easy to get into. The layout just made sense right away. And I also like how clean and responsive it feels. I haven't had any issues opening up or editing files from Microsoft Office and Google Docs and even Apple Pages and Numbers. It made switching between different platforms pretty seamless for me. It also works well on iPad and I've been using it there for script writing. The interface is a bit more cut down than the Mac version, but it's more than enough for the kinds of things I'm doing on the go. And I love that I can just save my document to my iCloud and then just pick up where I left off on my Mac. One thing to keep in mind is on macOS, everything opens up in tabs rather than separate windows. 
is great for keeping things tidy, but if you use dual monitors or need to have two files open side by side, that's something to be aware of. It's not really a deal breaker for me, but it's definitely worth knowing if you're the type of person who needs to have two separate windows when you're working. So if you wanna try it out, I'll leave a link in the description below. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.